I believe possibly one of the greatest things that is going to come out of our service in Afghanistan and Iraq is a new generation of leaders who are willing to take risks in order to get moving forward. And I believe part of the challenge that we face is to go back and to become risk takers. If you take a look at where we went when President Kennedy challenged us in 1961 to go to the moon, we had yet to be in Earth orbit. And he gave us a decade, 10 years, we were starting from scratch to get to the moon. It is this kind of a challenge that determines the greatness and the longevity of a nation. And the, the, the sending humans to the moon culturally was, a, was, an, uh, was undeniably a great moment in human history. After that, rather than before that, are very different things, even though we haven't followed up on that. The idea of humans setting foot on other planets is, from a cultural perspective, remarkable. It means, in some sense, we're not confined to this planet any longer. It seems like we're going out of our infancy, if you want to use a Star Trek analogy. Well, the decision to stop production of the Saturn V dates back, really, to the Lyndon Johnson administration and the lack of any agreement on dramatic post-Apollo or ambitious post-Apollo goals that would require the capabilities presented by the Saturn V. So NASA stopped ordering long lead time items for the Saturn V in 1968 and announced suspension of, of, of its production. Uh, there were 15 built and then there weren't going to be any more. Then in uh, the first months of the Nixon administration, uh, that decision was appealed and there was a temporary reprieve saying until the Nixon administration decides what it wants to do, let's retain the capability to make more Saturn Vs. Then there were ambitious uh, recommendations to Nixon in September of 69 to use Mars as the long-term long goal of the program and build a space station. Those uh, recommendations were rejected in the fall of 69, and then there was no need for the kind of capability represented by the Saturn V. So it was in the, the budget cycle in December of 1969 that the decision finally was made to suspend production, basically shut the program down. I mean, who do you think were these 40-year-old technological entrepreneurs that built Silicon Valley in the 1990s? Whether well, they're the 10- and 12-year-old little boy mad scientists in the 1960s making rocket fuel in the basement. Okay, that's who they were, okay, and they created this technological revolution. As long as we've been humans, we've been looking to the heavens to give us a perspective on what we got here. That's what spaceflight is. It's romance. It's excitement. It's history, it is exploration, it is discovery. I believe that when we landed on the moon in 1969 as a flight director, my children would see an American back on the moon. I'm starting to lose that belief. I had hoped that I would see it myself. That is now impossible. I hope my children will see it. And if not them, their grandchildren. So it is time for us as a nation to take the steps forward and to recognize the challenge we face and to move forward and make things happen.